Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin today's video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. But today, we explore the question of who will be the Seattle Mariners opening day left fielder. So let's dive right in. We've been talking about the Mariners outfield for most of the offseason. While the return of Mitch Haniger was going to provide a big upgrade, the question as to who will play left field was still a question. So much so that the Mariners general manager Jerry Depoto appeared to have prioritized the addition of a left-handed hitting outfielder or second baseman over other needs such as starting pitching. But Seattle failed to land their left field option, giving them just a plethora of in-house options. Now every fan and their mother wants to see Jared Kelnick in the big leagues as soon as possible, but an already small chance shrank again after Kelnick was diagnosed with a knee sprain that will apparently keep him sidelined for the next three to six weeks. Now Kelnick insists that he'll be back in a week for what that's worth, but Kelnick is a very confident guy and he's not a doctor, so it's not worth all that much. But with Kelnick slated to miss the remainder of spring training, I think it's pretty fair to leave him out of the conversation for now. If Kelnick is right and he can return for the final two weeks of the Cactus League, then this discussion will need to be revisited. Jake Fraley has entered camp as the presumed favorite to win the job, and his usage in the Cactus League would seem to suggest that Seattle would like him to win the job. But Fraley has shown nothing to make us think that he can consistently hit big league pitching, albeit in a scattered and small sample size. It appears Fraley may be on his last chance with the Mariners, but he is a good athlete who runs well and is an above average defender and has also shown on base percentage skills as well as some good power in the high minors. If you're a betting man, Fraley will start in left field on April 1st and probably get most of the work until Jared Kelnick is deemed ready to go. Jose Marmaleos is another candidate, but he's a first baseman who's masquerading as an outfielder, but he lacks the upside and really the skill to be anything more than what he was last season a last resort. Marmaleos does show decent recognition skills at the plate and he does have legitimate power in his bat, but he actively hurts the team on the bases and in the field. For Marmaleos to be worthy of the spot, even for a rebuilding team in Seattle's position, he need to put up Jose Martinez-like numbers, something he almost certainly cannot do. Marmaleos probably makes the opening day roster and he might sneak in to left field on opening day, but it's highly unlikely He's a bench bat for now, and that's likely all he'll be going forward. If you're looking for a dark horse, there is one we should be talking about, and that's Taylor Trammell, the former top prospect who was acquired by the Seattle Mariners in the Austin Nola trade last summer. Trammell does have some things going for him. For instance, he's already on the 40-man roster, and he does have more experience at the high minors than somebody like Jared Kelnick, and he's been one of the best players in camp thus far. He's certainly better than Marmaleos and Fraley, and he gives the team a legitimate power-speed combo and an improved glove to play really anywhere in the outfield. But Trammell has yet to see success at the high minors, and he hasn't appeared in a competitive game since September of 2019. Trammell making his debut in 2021 would be a good sign for Seattle, but an injury to one of the other options is probably the most likely way he would crack the opening day roster. Now before we go, we should mention a few other names here. Shed Long still has the support of the organization, rightfully so, and he does have some experience in the outfield, but he still is working his way back from a lower leg injury that required surgery last year, and he hasn't appeared in a Cactus League game and doesn't sound all that close to doing so. So he appears destined to start his season at the alternate training site. Braden Bishop has long since been given up on by the Seattle Mariners despite his 70 grade speed and elite outfield defense. Bishop is facing an uphill battle for a bench spot, as dumb as that may sound, let alone being the starting left fielder. Dylan Moore could see some serious time in left field to start 2021, but only if Long is ready to go by opening day, and the Mariners believe he is the second baseman of the future. It's also worth noting that the Mariners do have an open spot on their 40-man roster and can easily create more spaces if necessary, but allowing the young guys to get most of the reps in the Cactus League is ideal and see if any of them take the job. If none of them take the job, then Seattle could scour the waiver wire market or the DFA pool to add their left fielder before opening day. Well, that's gonna do it for us this week. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to let us know in the comments below who you want to see in left field on opening day. And remember to subscribe and like the video as well. That's all I have for you this week. Stay safe, be smart, and go Mariners.